a full outer shell makes an atom stable as in case of noble gases they have complete outer shell electronic configuration for example in case of helium helium has only the first shell the first shell is the only shell in case of helium and it is having two electrons in it if the first shell is the only shell and it has two electron it is called having complete outer shell electronic configuration and we call it it has duplet and in case of neon the second shell is the last shell and it is having eight electrons and we call that it has complete outer shell and has octet similarly in case of organ the last shell is having eight electron it has also a complete outer shell and octet so these noble gases because of their last shell electronic configuration and because of the complete last shell electronic configuration has got a stability noble gases are so much stable that they do not wish to bring any change in them this is a reason that noble gases are least ready to react they don't want any change all other atoms wish to get same level of stability this is possible if they get the complete outer shell electronic configuration like noble gases like the duplet and octet i mean they have the last shell if the if the last shell is the only shell and it has having two electron like duplet it is a complete shell and having a full shell electronic configuration and similarly if the second shell is a last shell it must have eight electron if all other atoms have the complete outer shell electronic configuration then they get the stability so atoms join or combine with one another atoms make bonds atom join atom combine because of the reason that they want to get the complete last shell electronic configuration like noble gases i would like to illustrate my point of view for example in case of sodium in case of sodium sodium belongs to group 1 because the group 1 elements having one electrons in their last shell so if it gives away its one electron then this shell having only one electron and this electron has gone away so the second shell will be the last shell and it has eight electrons in it so if sodium is nearby the chlorine chlorine belongs to group 7 so chlorine is having seven electrons in its last shell and sodium is ready to give away its one electron and chlorine is ready to gain one electron so after giving away electron sodium is having eight electrons in its last shell and it is having complete outer shell electronic configuration and octet like the noble gases so has got stability like the noble gases similarly uh, chlorine is having seven electrons and it has gained one electron and after gaining one electron it has eight electrons in its in its last shell and having a complete outer most shell electronic configuration like noble gases also sodium before giving away its electron having 11 protons and 11 electrons protons are positive charged particles and electrons are negatively charged particles so 11 protons means positive 11 and 11 electrons means negative 11 so they cancel the effect of each other as a whole it is zero so atom is having zero charge on it but after giving away its one electron protons are still 11 but electrons are 10 because one electron has gone towards chlorine so 11 protons mean positive 11 and 10 electrons means 
minus 10 plus 11 minus 10 mean positive 1 and this is a reason that sodium has got a charge on it and this is a positive charge the atom with the charge on it is called an ion ion is the particle having a charge on it and it is having a charge on it because the number of protons and number of electrons are not equal because you see that the protons are 11 and electrons are 10 and this is a reason that it has got positive one charge on it and similarly in chlorine chlorine is having 17 proton and 17 electrons so protons are positive and electrons are negative so positive 7 and minus 17 and they cancel the effect of each other and the, as a whole there is no charge on chlorine atom but when chlorine has gained one electron the protons are still 17 but electrons are 18 and the protons are positive electrons are negative so positive 17 and minus 18 so it is minus 1 so chlorine has got minus 1 charge on it and any particle having a charge on it is called ion because the protons and electrons are not equal and the positive charge on sodium and the negative charge on chlorine will attract each other because the opposite charges attract each other and this force of attraction will bind them together and such a binding is the chemical bonding and such a chemical bond which has taken place because of the complete transference of electron is called ionic bonding and I like to repeat it that because of the complete transference of electron from one atom to another atom the type of bonding is called the ionic bonding and the opposite charges attract each other and such a force of attraction is a chemical bonding and the, that type of the chemical bonding in which there is a complete transference of electron is called ionic bonding my next topic will be ionic bonding and we shall get into the details of ionic bonding. <laughs>